what is up everyone welcome back to the channel we are doing something a little different on the road as you can see uh, heading westbound literally across the whole dang state um, never done this before and I have traveled across the state uh, Josh and I, the farthest west I have been, um, my buddy's got, a, some, a family farm out, uh, south of Ogallala, and then we went to, uh, Colorado for ice fishing last year, so I have been west, but, um, hunting-wise, um, I've never, I've only hunted, uh, waterfowl around my side of the state, never really traveled out west too much. Um, and my buddy Jeremy from Hunt365 and Hunter from Big Red Hunters, they have been doing this the last few years. They, they made it a duck camp, as you'd say, and uh, they've been doing it the last few years uh, for opener. They go up and they camp for a few days and hunt the area, and I apologize that this is super bumpy. I just got on the interstate. And... Uh, He's been trying to get me to go the last couple years and uh, just didn't really work out with work and stuff but I'm only able to go up here for one night and hunt opener tomorrow so today is Friday the 4th and tomorrow is October 5th Nebraska opener for duck and uh, I'm driving five hours west staying the night they got two campers that they hauled out and uh, staying the night with them hunting in the morning it sounds like I either I'm hunting by myself or with Jeremy um, it's completely up to me what I decide but Jeremy got there pretty early did some scouting and says there's some really good numbers so cross our fingers um, on this side of the state it's just not looking so hot this year so a lot of traveling for hunting is in the near future I'm guessing and uh, yeah so I'll be hunting in the morning and then driving them right back home. Unfortunately, I just can't stay another night. I got to work on Sunday, but I'm all about experiences, adventures, the chase, all that. I mean, out here is just, it feels like you're in a different state. Um, the hills and tons of water, just, just different from back here, flat, urban areas um, that you see me fishing and pressured marshes back around my area so yeah I'm pretty excited um, one to hunt with the guys I haven't hunted too much with Jeremy and Hunter it's been a while since I hunted with Hunter um, Jeremy and I get on try to get on a few hunts a season but last year I spent most of my time with Dustin filming so it'll be cool to hang out with the guys they're a great group of guys and I enjoy being around them but this is just going to be a travel vlog. Um, yeah. Traveling across the, con the country. Traveling across the state of Ding near feels like the country. Because if you've ever traveled west or eastbound I-80 through Nebraska, it is the worst boring drive you can possibly think of. Just straight and flat, no curves, nothing. Except all this crazy construction heading out of Lincoln. But I have, it is 5.45, I got a later start than I wanted to, but I got a five, five -ish hour, five hour, and a five and a half hour drive, um, if you include a couple stops. So roughly, probably getting there around 11 p.m., which doesn't leave me a whole lot of uh, chill time to sleep, because I don't know if it's just me, I'm sure a lot of you can relate. The night before a duck hunt, duck opener, season opener, deer hunt, like you just can't sleep and that's where I'm at. I'm finally over the fishing, not completely, but it's been a struggle the last few weeks for me. I've been trying to push out weekly content and it just has not been working for me. And we are switching gears to hunting. I'm not giving up on fishing. I'm going to keep you fishermen happy and still be posting every other uh, fishing and hunting videos but um, 
Also, I am heading to Wisconsin Dells Monday through next Wednesday with Dylan. We are going on a work trip to Wisconsin Dells for the Robinson Show. And Robinson is a wholesale supplier that we order from for the marina. I'm sure other tackle shops and stores and bait shops do the same, but they're a big wholesale company that sells us all of our fishing tackle, you know, your rod holders, your weights, fishing lures, uh, minnow buckets, and all of the camping stuff. So they host a giant show out in Wisconsin every year. You go walk around the show, all the companies have booths up and they, uh, they show off new products order for your store um, we're going on uh, I got invited to go this year kind of see what it's all about and I'm super excited about that um, stinks it falls right after uh, man my truck if I go over 75 it is crazy um, on the interstate so yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. I thought about taking you guys with me, um, doing a small vlog to experience it with me and show you guys kind of what it's all about. It's kind of like iCast in a way, but uh, yeah, for like stores and stuff to purchase. Um, and uh, I think that's kind of what this is. I don't know. I've never been. Dylan's gone and I'm excited, but I might take you guys along and do a small vlog if you guys want to see that let me know in the comments um yeah i'm excited but right now we got everything loaded up um i don't have to sleep in a tent i was planning on doing that but it's supposed to get down to like 34 tonight and luckily they brought two campers so that's pretty cool well hopefully next time i see you it'll probably be a stop This is like a travel vlog. Um, it's completely different. I made one when we went to Louisiana, but um, travel vlog across the state of Nebraska, I-80 West, and uh, probably see you, talk to you at the next stop, give you an update how I'm doing. But come on with us. Day for you guys we are 146 miles in to the drive uh, 293 miles until empty we're at three-quarter of a tank uh, I filled up before we left so pretty good averaging 17.8 mile per gallon not bad considering I'm going 80 but already ate all my snacks which is okay I uh, stopped by Subway before I left town and got a protein bowl for when I get there um, so I'll probably eat that when I get there I'm gonna stop at a half tank whatever town I hit On road trips like this, I don't like going under a half tank in case of emergencies. And uh, better, I don't know, they say uh, better gas mileage if uh, you have more fuel in your tank. I don't know if that's true or not, but it seems like if you go under a half tank, your, uh, your gas burns up a lot quicker. So we're gonna, yeah probably another hour of driving I would I'd reckon and then uh, we'll hit up a gas station get some caffeine take a bathroom break and yeah I'm getting excited buddy called me and said uh, he was about three quarters of the way there and about every body of water 
that he was seeing had some ducks on it. So tomorrow was kind of weird. Back home, it's supposed to be like 95 degrees on opener with a south southwest 25 to 30 mile an hour wind with 40 mile an hour gusts, which is just dumb. And it's been extremely warm all week. We haven't had any rain in the last probably two, three weeks, it feels like. Everything's dead dry. We're in a fire warning right now because of the winds and dryness. Um, but where we're going is going to be about 80 tomorrow with north-northwest winds at 20 to 30 with 35 to 40 mile an hour gusts. So weird how it switched. Also, to last night, it got down to about 32, and tonight it's supposed to get down to 34 there. So, chilly for sure. I think it's only supposed to be out 48 back home. But this side of the state um, got a good push of ducks on Tuesday, it sounded like. And then last night, um, I seen some new birds uh, at the lake I work at. Um, a bunch of seagulls arrived, comrades, um, cooped. Usually when coot just appear, they usually raft up pretty good on Branch Oak, but where I work, and that's usually a good sign for me to know that something moved in. Um, they seem to always just, I've never seen coot migrate during the day, I think they're just nocturnal. They hardly fly. They're weird birds, but yeah, they just, uh, they just arrive, and uh, usually the lake I work at holds a bunch of divers. I haven't seen any of those. I've seen a few ducks flying around today at work, but um, couldn't tell what they were. So, yeah, I think sunset's about 7.30, about an hour left of water. Not water, I'm just staring at water. About an hour left of daylight left, and the sun is gonna be right in my eyes this whole drive up until sunset. That's, that's one of the bad things about I-80 West on sunsets. It's right there. This whole drive up until this point, it's been in my visor, but now it's starting to uh, set below it. Yeah, we hit up, uh, hit up old Wally World before we left. Got water, caffeine, some Celsius's, snacks, protein bars for the morning, breakfast. Got that loaded in the cooler. I brought my decoys, but Jeremy said that most likely him and I are hunting together, so he told me not to bring anything. But I don't. If I were to have left without them, I would have felt empty. Like, I would have thought I was forgetting something this whole drive. So I brought them anyways, whether or not I hunt with them or not. Uh, at least I know I have all my stuff. we see a lot of teal still and actually I never even got out for teal opener teal season in general but we see a lot of teal still through the first few weeks of duck season opening here in Nebraska and I tend to continue to shoot six shot until we start seeing uh, some bigger ducks around um, I'll still shoot six shot at uh, like typical pebble ducks, gadwall, and widgeon. Um, they just, they're pretty dumb early and we can usually get them in pretty closely. And I've never had issues with it. When I start seeing mallards, then I'll switch to fours. But I don't have a typical brand of shell that I love or like stick to. I've tried everything. I've tried Black Cloud, it was okay. Um, I've been shooting Federal Speed Shock and Winchester Expert since I started, and I've done just fine. 
The six shot I shoot is the Federal Upland Steel. Uh, I really like that. Um, it seems to do good in my gun, which is a Franke Affinity 3. I've had that for about four years now, and uh, had some issues with it with dove loads. It, and if you don't um, get the bolt slammed tight enough, it'll click. That's about the only issue. Other than that, um, I've gotten used to it. It did shoot high when I got it, which is typical with uh, Franke and Benelli. So I've gotten used to that. Um, we got the shot cam on there. We got some new apparel that literally I didn't even, I just seen it laying by the door when I got home right before I left. Uh, I didn't even know it was arriving today. Um, so this video or the next video is, will be sponsored by that company. Um, they sent me a sweet uh, three-in-one jacket that arrived at perfect timing because I think tonight and tomorrow morning is going to be a bit chilly and I will need it before that sun comes up. So that, that arrived exactly when I needed it to. So we will catch you at the gas station. Well, we made it. We're probably at our halfway mark. Almost three hours left. I'm gonna fuel up, use the restroom, grab some caffeine, keep driving. The sun has pretty much set, so it's gonna be dark by the time we leave here, I bet. So, see you back on the road. Celsius stuff it's pretty expensive but I think it's the best jerky fill up and hit the road it's still light out sun hasn't completely set probably gonna lose service eventually that's what uh, Jeremy said where we're going probably won't have service but I'm gonna shoot him a text saying where I'm at and uh, yeah See him when I see him. Thirty-six dollars for a half a tank of gas. Could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. So, I have three more hours of driving, it says, and we will be there, so, about 10.30. So, I shouldn't have to stop again. Maybe I do. I don't know. It'll be like 10.30, 11 when we get there, so pretty dark. It's at the road. Well guys, I forgot to film the last stop, but we uh, we stopped at our last gas station. Have an hour drive left into VFE in the middle of nowhere where we are staying or we're hunting out of civilization. And uh, yeah, the last two hours have been one lane closures on the interstate going 65 and just dark but I feel better after I got out used the bathroom and stretched a little bit grabbed another snack we are almost there we have an hour left thankfully I forgot there's a time change once you get as far west as I am so Right now, at home, it is 9.50, it's almost 10. It's now quarter to 
nine here. So I'll get an extra hour of sleep. So that helps a little bit. And tomorrow driving home is gonna be a lot easier. We'll be driving home completely in the daylight. So we will talk to you when we get to camp. with stops and all that but thanks to the guys for allowing me to hang out with them at duck camp um it was a blast this is super cool what they do and hopefully i can uh, i can make it next year it's a beautiful area cool experience hunting ducks and everything and um just hunting a new area completely was super neat to me and just a different different type of hunting in a way but yeah there's camp and uh, we are on the road so thank you guys for watching if you're new here subscribe hit the like button comment down below anything you want and uh check out the giveaway in the description win a hunt when to go on a hunt with me and dustin at indian creek outfitters whether it's a duck and goose hunt or a snow goose hunt um so get subscribed to be entered to that we'll see you on the next one